Hello. So, uh, in this video, I want to show you how you can do a fancy sounding RFM score analysis within Y42. Uh, basically, we're looking at an e-commerce shop and uh, want to segment their customers by different metrics. And those are the recency of the purchases, the frequency, and how much money they leave on the table. Um, and then we add all those scores together and uh, that will allow us to segment them. And for example, look into those that have a very low score and potentially identify that um, the issue lies mostly with the last uh, recent order and then do a reactivation campaign um, to increase the score of those customers. All right, uh, let's jump into it. As always, the first step would be to integrate the data sources. Uh, we did that here already for Amazon and Shopify. And also uh, in this video, we already created uh, one of the Y42 models, uh, the orders combined model. Uh, so what we did here is take the uh, two order tables, we unioned them and we pa passed the date column so it's usable afterwards. And uh, why am I showing you this? Um, the beauty of Y42 is that it allows you to reuse models that you already created. So you don't have to go back and you know have all the raw input sources again. Um, you can, for example, here already start with the orders combined table and uh, you don't have to do the same work over and over again. Okay, so now that we've got the orders combined in, um, this is how it looks like. Basically, you have uh, the different order IDs, the customer IDs, uh, total amount, the order date. Um, and now we're going to calculate the base of what we will need to calculate the RFM scores. Um, to do that, we're going to use an aggregations node. Um, so we're going to, for each customer, um, create the three underlying metrics. So for recency, what we need is the last order date, which is not in the table yet. So we're going to calculate it. Um, so we look through all the order dates um, of this customer's order um, and return the maximum value. So that would be the last order date, as you can see um, in the preview. Um, so next, uh, what we want is the frequency and how do we measure the frequency? We basically look at um, the number of uh, lifetime orders. Um, so basically, we're uh, looking through all of these uh, order IDs and just count the number of orders. So now we've added the second column, um, the lifetime orders. And we're going to do the same uh, for the monetary value. The monetary value uh, in this case could be the lifetime revenue. Um, so here we're going to take the total amount, which is the revenue, uh, but instead of counting it, we're going to sum everything. Um, and after doing this, uh, basically we will have the three underlying pillars to create um, the RFM scoring. Just one thing, uh, basically you can already imagine, uh, we can uh, basically put these into quantiles and then we have each like score one to five. Um, the issue is with the last order date, that's not really gonna work. Um, so what we would need to do here is basically create um, a proxy for the recency of the orders. So um, calculate uh, another column, which could be the days uh, since last order. Um, in this case, because it's a stale data set, it only goes until uh, the end of 2020, uh, we will have to create a helper column um, by using the functions node. Um, so the functions node allows you to do more advanced calculations um, and also speeds things up. So we want to calculate a column which says uh, how many days have passed since the last order. And to do that, what we want to have is basically create one constant, which is the 1st uh, of January of 2021, and then uh, subtract um, the last order date, which would then give us the days between those two dates. Um, so let's assume I don't know uh, how to do this. Uh, let's just look through the documentation here. Uh, what do we have that could work? Uh, date diff sounds good. Uh, so basically it returns the number of um, intervals between two different dates. I can see here basically what the result will be. It's gonna be a number of days. Um, and what I need to input is uh, obviously the two dates that we're going to compare and um, the type of interval that I want to measure, which is going to be days in this case. Okay, so let's uh, start creating this function. Um, so what I want to use is the date diff. Um, and as the first value, I actually want to use a constant. Um, so I already know, okay, I probably need uh, a date. So I'm going to use the parse date function, which allows me to you know, input um, a text format kind of date uh, and convert that to a date value. Um, okay, so uh, we're going to use the parse date 
function. Um, I want to pick the 1st of January of 2021. Um, and I want to tell uh, how the format is, which is going to be the year, um, the month, and then we have the day. Um, so we already know that this is still missing uh, a second date. So I'm gonna add that. Uh, the second date is our last order date column. Um, and afterwards, uh, we will tell it that we actually want the interval to be day. Um, so it actually tells me that I did something wrong here. So now everything looks fine. And in the preview, I'll be able to see uh, now that we have the column day since last order, which basically takes the 1st of January and subtracts uh, the respective dates here. Okay, um, now that we got that out of the way, let's actually calculate the RFM scores. Um, so RFM scores basically uh, partition uh, each of these metrics into quantiles. Um, so we're going to uh, first create the recency score um, and we want to use uh, the entile um, from one to five. And we want to look at uh, the days since last order. Um, and the higher the number is, the lower uh, we want the score to be. So let's have a look. Okay, so we see if it's 196 days, uh, the score is actually one. Um, if it's less, then the score will be higher. Um, so in the next step, what we wanna do is we want to calculate the frequency score. So I'm gonna create a new column. And the frequency score also should be in n tiles, as is the definition of RFM, uh, 1 to 5. Uh, though here we actually want to look at the lifetime number of orders um, by sending uh, orders. So the more orders you have, the higher the score should be. Uh, all right, so this is going to be the next column. Same story, it works. And uh, we're going to do the same thing for the monetary score, which is basically um, also the n tile. Uh, one to five, and uh, we're looking at the lifetime revenue here. And the higher lifetime revenue, the higher the score. Okay, uh, now that we got that, um, we want to add those three together. We could use the arithmetic node here. You could also use the functions node. That's up to you. Um, so we're going to add together the recency score, uh, the frequency score, as well as the, oops, monetary score. Cool. And here you see two plus two plus one is five. Maths looks correct. Uh, let's move on. So now we've got everything to create the visualization that I showed you at the beginning. Um, so we'll have an output here. Uh, we'll call it RFM. Um, so it has everything that we need. Uh, and now we're going to save this. And what you see here basically um, is a version control feature, which allows you to uh, you know, have different versions of a model and roll back should something go wrong in the meantime. Okay, um, let's create the visualization, RFM. And uh, this is pretty much drag and drop. So we uh, pick the table that we just created, RFM, and we're going to want to do a distribution um, of the RFM score. And boom, we're done. All right, so congratulations. Uh, now you've got the RFM score and uh, you can do fancy calculations with it. Have fun.